Good day. It's another long day. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of questions this week about this little thing. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. And uh, a lot of people want to know what's up with that always on display AOD. Uh, it came out about, oh, I don't know, five years ago. Samsung started using it, the uh, always on display. And Apple, wow, way to go, Apple. You uh, finally came around and you saw the light that a watch should easily tell the time. Well, Samsung and Garmin been doing it for years, so I'm glad you finally take notice. And so thanks. So let's take a look at always on display and what it does to the battery life. So always on display. Well, it's basically that. Uh, instead of doing this thing or tapping or pushing a button, the always on display is always on. Unless you turn it into movie mode or do not disturb mode or your battery goes really, really dead. Uh, I think I have mine on a 15 second delay, so it should dim right about now. So there you go. There's the always on display. And whether your wrist is like that or you're perfectly still, yeah, it's just always on, always ticking. And then if you have wake up turned on, which I can cover in another video, it will wake up and show your notifications. So to get this back on, you just double tap the screen and it's ever so bright. So right now you can see I'm at 22%. It's been roughly 24 hours since I've charged my watch and it tracked my sleep all night long. And if you just uh, swipe down, go to settings, go to settings, there we go. And scroll down, and all these things. Battery, there we go. So right there, so it's showing me standard 10 hours and four minutes. And so I'm good for almost the rest of the day. Now if I go into power saving, one day, two hours and three minutes, Watch only, which I don't recommend. That's kind of lame. Now, this is a really cool feature, Optimize Bay at a Battery. So this automatically reviews all your settings and lets you know what you're doing wrong if you want to save your battery. Optimize Battery. Extend battery life by closing background apps and applying the settings below. Watch always on, off, hourly chime, off, long vibration, off, screen time, out, 10 seconds, NFC, and the list goes on, so I'm breaking lots of rules. I'm so sorry, Samsung. So I'm not gonna do any of that. But, uh, so if you always do always on, yeah, it eats the battery. Had I not had always on display and maybe the vibration setting to be more notification-y, uh, the battery would probably be at 40 or 50% right now. Uh, I've gotten up to three days with this battery. The other thing that really sucks the battery if you uh, tilt the watch just a little bit, you can see the little green blinky light. That means I'm always detecting heart rate. So it's continuously checking my heart rate and it lets me know this little resting range and minimums and vigorous and went on a walk, 28 minutes and so on. So that's really eating up the battery and you can change that, uh, but I'm, I actually kind of like it. And then if you scroll down, it gives you your heart health. So I need to stand for another four hours today and, and so on. And Now the cool thing that Apple does not do yet, even on the new Apple Watch 5, it does not detect sleep. So last night, pretty nice, 8 hours and 11 minutes, you're welcome future self. And 89%, ooh, what is that, a B, A minus, B plus? Uh, awake time, 52, REM, all that fun stuff. You can read this, I'll scroll slowly. And then, yeah, so this is kind of neat. Max, ooh, so I broke a record. This week's average, oh man, I'm down 54 minutes and 53 seconds versus last week. That's kind of fun. Thanks, Samsung. And you can change the sleep setting right here if you want to. Record REM sleep? Yes, please. Now, you're not going to get REM unless the heart rate's working. So when you do select that REM, it's going to kick in heart rate data automatically and play around with the settings so but there you go so does always on display aod 
suck up your battery life? And the answer is, anyone, anyone? Yes, yes it does. It reduces the battery life in by an extra 10% per day, I'd say, if not 15%. But hey, it looks really cool. And you can still get a full two days out of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. And this is the 44 millimeter. Well, if you have any questions or pithy comments, go ahead and uh, type those in below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, sign up, register. Yeah, and have a great day.